Finding the other unknown terms in a geometric sequence. The general rule of a given geometric sequence is given by a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. And from this given general rule, we can have the other derived formulas. If we're going to find for our a sub 1 or the first term, we can use a sub 1 equals a sub n over r raised to n minus 1. And if we are looking for our r or the common ratio, we can use r equals n minus 1 root of a sub n over a sub 1. Let us have example. If the 7th term of a given geometric sequence is 30 and the 11th term is 480, find the first term, the common ratio, and the 15th term. So from this one, our given are a sub 7, which is equal to 30, and a sub 11, which is equal to 480. What we need to find? We need to find for our a sub 1, or the first term, our r, or the common ratio, and our a sub 15, or the 15th term. To find this, we use the general rule of a given geometric sequence, and that is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So let us now solve. Since our a sub 1 is unknown here, we need to create equations using also our general rule a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. First, we use our given a sub 7 which is equal to 30. By substitution, we have a sub 7 equals a sub 1 times r raised to 7 because that is our n now minus 1. And we have our value of a sub 7 which is 30. So we have 30 equals a sub 1 times r raised to 6 because we have 7 minus 1 which is equal to 6. So we have 30 equals a sub 1 times r to the 6th power will be our first equation. Using the second given which is a sub 11 equals 480, we will use again our general rule of a given geometric sequence. By substitution, we have a sub 11 is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to 11 because that would be our n minus 1. And then our a sub 11 is said to be equal to 480. So we have 480 equals a sub 1 times r raised to 10 because we have 11 minus 1. And that is equal to 10. This will now be our second equation. That is 480 equals a sub 1 times r raised to 10. Let us solve these two given equations to find our a sub 1 and our r. So let us divide our second equation by the first equation. Thus, we have 480 is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to 10 over or divided by 30 equals a sub 1 times r raised to 6. 480 divided by 30 is equal to 16. a sub 1 divided by a sub 1 is equal to 1 or it will be cancelled. And r raised to 10 divided by r raised to 6 will be equal to r raised to 4. Or that will be 10 minus 6 is equal to 4. And then we have to get the fourth root of both sides of the given equation. So we have the fourth root of 16 equals the fourth root of r to the fourth power. So we will have here r equals positive negative 2. So our common ratio in this given will be positive or negative 2. Or we can use our derived formula in finding our common ratio that is r equals n minus 1 root of a sub n over a sub 1 or r equals n minus k instead of 1 
because our given position here would be the 11th and the 7th term, root of a sub n over a sub k. By substitution, we can have r equals our n would be 11 minus the k is 7 because we have a sub 11 and a sub 7. Root of 480 as the value of a sub 11 over the value of a sub 7 which is 30. Dividing these two numbers, we have 480 divided by 30 is equal to 16. And 11 minus 7 is equal to 4. And again, getting the fourth root of 16, our r will be equal to positive negative square root of 2, or rather positive negative 2. And using any of the two created equation a while ago, and the obtained value of r or common ratio, let us now find our a sub 1. So first, let us use our a sub 7. So we have a sub 7 equals a sub 1 times r raised to 7 minus 1. And then again, our a sub 7 is equal to 30 equals a sub 1 times the value of r. It can be positive or negative. This time, let us use positive 2. Raised to 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. And then our 2 to the 6th power will be equal to 64. So we have 30 equals a sub 1 times 64. And then we need to eliminate 64 besides a sub 1 by applying MPE. We multiply the whole equation by its reciprocal and that is 1 over 64. So a sub 1 times 64 times 1 over 64, it will be cancelled. The remaining would be a sub 1. And then 30 times 1 is 30 over 64. That would give us 15 over 32. So our a sub 1 using the first equation would be 15 over 32. How about the second equation? That is a sub 11 equals a sub 1 times r raised to 11 minus 1. So again, our a sub 11 is equal to 480 equals a sub 1 times our r is positive 2 raised to 10 because we have 11 minus 1 is equal to 10. And then, we simplify our 2 to the 10th power and that is equal to 1024. And then, we have to eliminate this 1024 besides our a sub 1. So, what are we going to do again is applying MPE. We multiply the whole equation by its reciprocal and that is 1 over 1024. So we have a sub 1 times 1024 times 1 over 1024. It will be cancelled. The remaining is a sub 1. And then 480 times 1 is 480 over 1024. Or this one will be simplified as 15 over 32 equals a sub 1. So using the a sub 7 or the a sub 11 form equation, we have obtained the value of our a sub 1 which is equal to 15 over 32. How about if our r is equal to negative 2? So again, we substitute. We have 30 equals a sub 1 times negative 2 raised to 6. So as you have noticed, we have a negative number here and an even power. So remember, if we have an even power, this negative will always be positive. So the same thing as what we have solved a while ago, this equation will be simplified as 15 over 32 equals a sub 1. The same thing with our 480 equals a sub 1 times the quantity of negative 2 raised to 10. So obviously, we have again a negative number raised to an even power. This will always be a positive number. So the same thing as what we have done a while ago, this will be equal to 15 over 32. So our a sub 1 is equal to 15 over 32. Now, we already found out the value of our common ratio and the first term. Let us now find our 15th term or the a sub 15. Our given are the obtained values of the first term and the common ratio. So we have 15 over 32 and positive negative 2 respectively. 
and our n would be 15 because we are looking for the 15th term. So we use our general rule that is again a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. By substitution, we have a sub 15 equals our a sub 1 is 15 over 32. So that would be 15 over 32 times our given r is positive or negative 2. So we use positive 2 here because our n minus 1 will be still an even power. So either we use a positive or negative here, this will give, uh, give us a positive number. So again, this 15 is our n and then we have 15 minus 1 is equal to 14. And then we simplify this 2 to the 14 power times 15 over 32 will be simplified as 7,680. Therefore, our 15 term or a sub 15 will be equal to 7,680.